everybody, Teching here. Um, so how's everybody enjoying the Wednesdays with no manga chapters out? Yeah, it's a little weird, isn't it? Like, I don't know, It's I'm okay with it for the most part because with college, either Wednesdays or Fridays could work interchangeably for me on how to do a review. Um, I have an equal amount of free time of both days as long as I don't have work. But, you know, you do the same thing as consistently for three years, practically every week, only taking breaks whenever, you know, like Kubo gets sick or whenever there's holidays in Japan. But you do this, like, my, my, my Wednesday routine is, you know, I wake up, read the chapter. Sometimes I'm not even fully awake when I read the chapter. Sometimes I wake up at, like, 6 a.m. and then read the chapter. Then I fall back asleep. But I have to read the chapter as early as possible and then take the snapshots and get everything ready. It's just, it's just weird having Wednesday where I don't have to worry about that. It's so surreal, but I'll get accustomed to this new schedule uh, regardless. Um, but anyway, that's neither here nor there, really. We have some mail to open here. We have a letter and we have a package I need to open. Uh, but before I do that, I want to address something else. And uh, anyone that follows my fan page knows what I'm probably going to show you guys. Uh, and it may, it, it's, it's one of those things where um, a, a, a very large amount of good luck just shone upon me, and I'm going to be gloating that to you guys. But it's something that I just find funny because I, I, I have to tell you a story first. Okay, so a couple of weeks back when I started getting fan mail, uh, sometimes, you know, I would go to the post office to pick it up. Other times my mom would have to go get it because, um, you know, like I have school and I have work and the post office is only open to like a certain time of the day. So sometimes I get home too late to check it or I leave too early to check it. So she goes and gets it some days and, you know, she, she picked up the, uh, when I had the Suzumushi in the mail. So she basically was just like, oh, wow. Yeah. I'm, 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 I wish I had fans to send me fan mail. And she said, um, did, did any of them send you really expensive stuff in the mail? Like what if someone sends you like an Xbox or a Wii U or something? And I'm like I don't I don't think my fans would send me anything like that and then I, I, I and I said a PS Vita too and I'm like no, no, no one's gonna send me a PS Vita no one likes me that much to send me that much of an expensive piece of hardware now nobody sent me a PS Vita but I did win one Friday night <laughs> And I just thought it was hilarious because I thought of that I, I got like a week before I was thinking like that'd be funny if someone sent me a PS Vita if I just got a PS Vita for free and then ah, um, I won this in a movie theater of all places. There's these most of you have probably seen them. Um, they're like vending. They're like prize machines that um, only have about nine or ten prizes in them. But all the prizes are like really expensive shit, and that's the point. The point is to put really expensive items behind this glass and be like, holy crap, I gotta win this. And then you waste all your money trying to win them because it's really difficult on how to win these certain things. So this one in particular was called a Key Master. And uh, I'll throw up some pictures. The object of the game is to uh, control this like rod or pole that you can, you know, you control its like horizontal movements and then you have to control, you know, its vertical movements. And you have to. Basically, you have one shot for a dollar to put this key in this slot at like just the right angle because if it goes in too high, it won't work too low, it won't work, and the key will turn and then you can pull the uh, item out of the vending machine. So I'm sure a lot of you have probably seen like some variation of this. It's very difficult to do. There's another variation where um, there's basically like lights that are going all around the vending machine and there's like a couple of hot spots that are red and the goal is to hit the, the light on the red spot. I always thought those were impossible because they... Um, they, they don't exactly stop when you hit the button. When you stop, when you hit the button, it just slows down. So you have to either know a lot about, you know, like you have to sit down there with like a, like a stopwatch and like take notes on how many, if you hit it on this node, on how many nodes it skips over. And it might be different every time. I have no idea. Um, with Key Masters, it's a little bit similar too, where if you hit the button to stop the, the, the stop, the pull, it'll actually go up a little bit more. It stops the momentum a little bit. So uh, they're really difficult to win. I had $1 in my wallet. And uh, we were going to see As Above, So Below. And right before we entered the theater, I'm like, yeah, guys, I'm going to hold off. I'm going to go play this. One dollar, boom, win a PS Vita. It sounds like it's empty. That's because it kind of is. I took it out. Don't worry. It was it was indeed in there. Um, I got Final Fantasy VII on this. I've been playing right now. This is my first real exposure to the PSN because I don't have anything like that. I don't have a PS3 or a PS4. I, I should get a PS4 now because I can use this as a remote for it. But uh, that's like 400 bucks, so I, I don't think I'm going to be picking up a PS4. Uh, hey, 
guys, if you have any free... Now, don't send me... Don't send me a PS4. Do not send me a PS4. It's not reverse psychology. I mean, swear to God, don't send me a PS4. I would feel so terrible if someone sent me a $400 item. All right, even with the Susan Mushy, I was like, this is like 40 bucks on Amazon, all right? You didn't have to do that. But anyway, um, so enough gloating about my personal victories. Uh, this is a letter from... Uh, I don't know if I should say your name. I'll just say Sam from Yoily Stream, New York. So there you go, New York. All right, what do we have here? We got a couple of things. We got more Yu-Gi-Oh cards. That's always plus. And we have these two buttons. Button, button. Who's got the button? All right, so in terms of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, we got something that I actually can use. We have Sheen's Castle of Mist, which is a field spell that's used on six samurai decks, which, of course, I have. And uh, I'm really glad I have that. I was gonna thinking about buying that a couple times. I never got around to it, so good I could throw it in my deck. Because the other field spell, uh, Temple of the Six Samurai, really isn't that good, or else it worked better with... Um, it worked better with Gateway of the Six back when that was still legal because you could use Bushido counters from that to use on your Gateway of the Six and you can like, ah, I'm the king of the world. But they banned it because I was having too much fun. Uh, we also have Crystal Beast Ruby Carbuncle. I don't use a Crystal Beast deck that much, but I do know how they function. Elder of the Six Samurai, which I have like eight of him, but thanks for that. And then we have Cyber End Dragon, which I had one a very long time ago. I had the original artwork design. This is the newer one. It looks like the evil Cyber End Dragon. I have the Malefic version too. Um... But yeah, that's also very beast. I always thought the individual Cyber Dragons looked cooler than the Cyber End Dragon. I don't know why I always thought that. That and the laser one and the... There was a there was a laser uh, Cyber Dragon and like a barrier Cyber Dragon. I also thought those, looked too, those two looked pretty cool. All right, so letter. Letter next. All right. Hey, teching! I had to shout that because you put an explanation point after the end of it. I guess Sam would indicate a boy or a girl, so sorry about that. I'm not really good with words or letters or things like this, so bear with me. Most importantly, I want to say thank you so much for your videos. I've been watching your videos since I started high school-ish, and now I'm going to be a junior. Your videos always make me smile and laugh, especially when I really need them. You're an amazing reviewer and such an awesome person as well. Every Wednesday... We gotta reschedule your uh, calendar there, Sam. Is always made better by your reviews, and I always love hearing your thoughts on the chapter. I totally get how you feel. How about balancing everything? I'm a mod on Minecraft server, whatever that is, and I'm a I know what Minecraft is. I just don't play it. I was like, a couple months back, I just almost caved. I'm thinking, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to go see what this Minecraft thing is. And I go and log on, and it wanted me to pay money to get it. And I'm like, screw that. Screw that. I'm not paying $10, $20 to play Minecraft. I have more important stuff to deal with, like putting on a wig and prancing around acting like an idiot on the internet. That's important, right? Um, yeah, I didn't mean enter in the school newspaper. So like, oh, yeah, yeah, with the newspaper endeavors. I'm actually, yeah, I actually have to get involved with that. Uh, for a class. I have a class where the whole grade is determined on how much I get involved with the school newspaper, school radio, yearbook, so I actually am going to be getting involved in that too. Uh, take your time and remember that life comes first. Thank you so much for impacting my life. Oh, you're welcome. DFTBA. Hmm? And uh, please take care of Ruby and Cyber and Dragon. They're my favorite cards. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX characters, Zane and Jesse. Um, that's pretty cool. I never I never cared much for Jesse, but Zane was pretty badass. Hope the six samurai I found is helpful too. And I hope you like the buttons. Yeah, the buttons. I like the buttons. The buttons are uh we have two ones. We have a sword art online button with Kirito and Asuna. So that's pretty beast. And then we have this one, uh it's a Harry Potter. I solemnly swear that I'm up to good uh, I'm up to go no good the uh, Marauders map uh deal. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool right there. Um, and I will be wearing these around. I'll put these on my bag or something if they don't get, you know, ruined or something. I'll, I'll put them on there. So, uh, that's from Sam. And then we have this next box here, which is from, uh, Red Alexander, who is Red Alex 6. He's been a major commenter and, uh, in, on my channel since, um, damn, I don't even remember back when he, like 2000, probably, he, I, I'm remembering him from the beginning. So maybe 2011, tw early 2012. Uh, but yeah, he's always been a cool fan. I've talked to him many times. Um, so he sent me this, right? And first off, I'm going to have so much damn fun with the bubble tape. So the bubble wrap, <laughs> bubble tape. Great. Now I need to go buy some bubble tape. No, bubble wrap. I'm going to have an insane good fun with it. And this is the, this is the primo grade bubble tape wrap i don't know i keep saying bubble tape i really want some bubble uh tape i guess but yeah uh the bubble wrap this is the kind it's not too small but it's big enough where you can pop it and you can have a lot of fun like i could step on it and it would sound like you know someone's setting off fireworks upstairs <laughs> i'm having way too much fun with this all right so and what he sent me is actually pretty damn sweet let me show you here i haven't i i i, I opened it and i saw what it was 
But after I saw what it was, I just kind of left it in the corner of my room until this moment because it, it's it's very delicate, and I, I didn't want to. I, I didn't. Hence why it's you know layered in like 15 layers of, of bubble wrap here. So put that away for a therapy session. Maybe when if I come home from class and I'm really stressful one day, I'll um I'll just pop some bubble wrap. All right. So hold on. Oh, this one's taped. Give me a second here. You're gonna love this. You are. You really are. All right. Okay. Carefully. Carefully. Isn't that cool? I oh shit. We're oh we're chipping on the bottom. That's not good. Okay. Yeah. It's a. If you can't tell, this is uh, a handmade Ichigo Hollow Mask uh, made out of. Hold on, let me read. Hey, Teching, it's. Hold on, I'll, I'll hold it up as I'm reading this here. The edges are a little bit frayed. That might be from the mail here. Uh, hey, Teching, it's Red Elect 6. Uh, Red Alexander. This is Ichigo's Hollow Mask that I made from plaster in high school. Yeah, plaster in a school art class about two years ago. I've been trying to think of someone to send it to, something to send it for a while, and I finally realized this would be perfect. Hopefully you can hang it up on your background of your bleach reviews, or at least use it in some way of your videos. I don't know if I should hang this downstairs, uh, because um, aside from the fact that backdrop behind me is not a solid wall, I can't hang it. It's like just a, um, it's just a black sheet that's, 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 uh, hanging from the ceiling by a rod. So I can't just, I, I can't hang up something this heavy or it would fall down immediately or tear the cloth or something. I could potentially like hang it from the ceiling if I got enough wire. But if I did that, I'm afraid, like, you see me in, in videos. I'm very active with my arms. You know, one day I'd be like, if this was dangling there, you know, next to me, I'd be like, you know, Ichigo, you freaking asshole. You don't use Bonkai to take out fucking Sukish. Oh, okay, that, and I shatter it in a thousand pieces. So we're not going to be doing that. I'm probably going to keep it in my room. Um, there's, I, I was thinking about putting it over there, right above that pennant, where you see that, the, looks like there's a leaf on that pennant, which it is a leaf, I was gonna put it right there. So, you know, I could have it in the background for my videos, everything else in here is getting a little crowded. I don't want to put it anywhere where I might accidentally knock into it coming in my room or putting stuff down or anything, but, anyway, uh, I'm pretty proud of it. The only thing that I look is, the only thing that I think that looks kind of stupid is the teeth, they just don't look right. But beside that, I hope you like, yeah, I love it, man, the, the teeth are, um... I don't see a problem with the teeth, really. Um, the only thing is maybe they're a little bit more narrower than Ichigo's, but it's not like so much that it's like, no, like, you know what this is. Like, it looks pretty damn cool. Like, when I first opened it, I thought it was like a legitimate one you bought off the internet or something, but just the fact you made it is pretty damn sweet. Um, just like, he's like, hold on. So that's pretty cool. I gotta re I gotta resist doing that because I don't want to break it. I'm not even I'm I'm even starting to read through Torico so I can continue watching your videos after Bleach is over. Yeah, I was planning on reviewing Torico. That's the one. I mean, that's the one that I was mostly going to um that I was mostly going to consider reviewing after Bleach ends in a couple of years. But uh, yeah, so that's that's the mask right there. Look forward to that in future videos. Uh, there. Oh, I, I just thought of something. I could reenact my all-time favorite scene whenever Ichigo does Hollow Mask, which he really needs to start doing again. I know his Hollow form and his Ichi and his uh, Zonpok Toe are like the same, but that was like he still has his Zonpok Toe. What would prevent him from accessing his Hollow powers? That's the whole key. He's Quincy Hollow and Shinigami, um, aside from Fullbringer and everything. But I guess you could consider that a subset of Hollow. But anyway, um, so here we go. This is when he uh, does his Hollow Mask with Dordoni. And uh, Dordoni basically just eggs him on. He tries to attack Nell. And, you know, Ichigo is just like, Nell, stand back. And he's like, and uh, he's like, sorry, Dordoni. I'll only be able to show it to you for an instant. He's like, oh, really? It's like, Soka. Soya. Yokata. <laughs> and then he, and he does it. And the music kicks in and it's, it's all really badass. So that's my favorite scene from that. Uh, I'll hang this up on my wall. I'm going to be very careful with this thing not to fray the edges here. And, uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, my mail, uh, post box, uh, post office box is below if you want to send me any more fan mail. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks to Sam and, uh, Alex Red Alexander for be sending me the, uh, the, the, uh, mask and the buttons and the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, respectively. And I have PS Vita now, so that's pretty cool. Uh, send me some recommendations. Like, if anyone out there has a PS Vita, because this, like I said, this is my first real Sony console I've owned since a PS2. So let me know if like there's like a really good game on the PS Vita or something that I, I need to pick up like I have to play. I know they rebooted 
Final Fantasy X and X-2, which you can get for PS Vita. So I was thinking about picking them up. I haven't played seven in forever. That's why I got it for, for the, from the store. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, the PSN store. Very, very handy. I can watch like, I could, well, first off, I can watch like any movie or, or like anime or anything that I want on there. So that's pretty kick-ass along with the, the games that are available too. But this is already running over a little bit over 15 minutes. So I'll be ending this now. Thanks everybody for watching. Teching, sign, knee, out.